first trimester is not fun. Hey guys, it's Maggie Rose. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be recapping my first trimester for you. And yeah, overall, like I said, it was rough. It was not very fun. I'm gonna start with five weeks because that's when I started feeling nauseous. So I went ahead and I started taking a combination of B6 and Unisom uh, in the evenings to try to help me because when I was pregnant with Aria, I would throw up every morning. So I didn't wanna do that this time. And I think it may have helped a little bit, but it didn't really seem like it did much because I just felt sick on and off all day from like five weeks to seven weeks and sometimes I would throw up. Then it started to get really bad and like peaked from seven weeks to 11 weeks. That was when I was throwing up like between one and three times every day and it was just not very good. I felt nauseous all day long and throwing up I don't know who these people are that say throwing up is a relief and maybe you're one of them. I just don't understand it at all. Throwing up has never been a relief for me for anything. I hate throwing up. I told Hunter I'd rather go through labor twice than have to go through the first trimester again because it's just, oh, I, I hate throwing up. Hate throwing up. It's like the worst, oh, I, I hate throwing up. But yeah, I'd throw up very often and then I would not make dinner because I could not stand the sight or smell or even the thought of food. So poor Hunter, he's a good cook and everything. So he'll make himself dinner, but then I'd feel bad because then I wouldn't even wanna be in the house if he'd make himself dinner because I could smell it. And so I would like go upstairs or go outside and I, it was bad. Oh, I, I told Hunter, I specifically remember telling Hunter that I just wanted them to put a feeding tube in me because I won't, I do not wanna eat, but I would get nauseous if I didn't eat but I would get nauseous because of eating. So it was just this bad cycle of not wanting to eat. That was also really hard for me because I couldn't really get off of the couch, couldn't do much with the kids. They watched a lot of TV. I couldn't really do much as far as going places with them. I was trying to read books with them, but again, they just watched a lot of TV because I was in like survival mode. I could barely clean the house. Like Hunter would have to do a lot, well most of the cleaning for those couple of weeks because I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It was really, really hard. I did try to go places with the kids, but it just, it wasn't, if we went anywhere, it wasn't for very long because then I'd start to feel sick. And yeah, I didn't like, didn't like seven to 11 weeks for sure. From 11 weeks to 14 weeks, I started to feel a little bit better. I had a couple good days in between the throwing up days and it started to transition into me feeling sick only in the evenings. I would get sick most evenings, but I still would feel better during the day. I started to be able to make dinner again, which was nice, especially for Hunter. We were both able to eat together again and I wouldn't be disgusted at the food that he was making. I was able to start staying up a little bit later because I would just wanna go to bed at like eight o'clock right when the kids went to bed because I was just, I just wanted to be done with the day because I just didn't feel good before. So at that point, at around like 12-ish weeks, I was able to stay up a little bit later at night. And that was really nice. And then, ah, oh, glorious 15 weeks came along. And I know that 15 weeks is technically not first trimester, but I wanted to include that in here because I wanted to show that like that was my point where I'm like, this is it. I'm me again, 15 weeks. It happened like this with Aria's pregnancy too, around 15 weeks, that's when I stopped throwing up and started feeling better. So, but yes, 15 weeks, he has a wind chime, so I'm sorry if that's really annoying. And I don't know where my good mic is, I'm gonna have to find that. But anyway, yes, I started feeling myself again. I feel like I have all my energy back. I need to start exercising again. But yeah, so now I just need to get myself eating a little bit better and exercising again because I'm feeling better now so I can stop eating toaster strudels every morning. That was literally the only thing that I could eat from like seven weeks to 14 weeks in the mornings that wouldn't make me feel nauseous was strawberry and cream cheese toaster strudels. <laughs> right now, it's like cereal and cookies for breakfast. I need to get better with eating food, but I know that it's gonna just go down the drain whenever Christmas cookies come around. Oh uh, well, that is where I'm at right now. I'm full on nesting, let this phase begin. I'm gonna try to do all the things in the second trimester because I don't know how much energy I'll have in the third trimester. But thank you guys for watching this first trimester recap update thing. And if you're also pregnant, let me know in the comments how far along you are and if your first trimester was good, bad, or just chill. All right, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Keep smiling, keep finding the joy. Thanks, bye.
hit Tatum. Huh? I hit Tatum. You hit Tatum? Mm -hmm. That's not nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> 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 Say 